We in the office. Just say it how you feel. Facts. Say it how you feel. Oh! We in the office. Oh! Welcome back to Say It How You Feel. And as promised, guys, you can see us. You can feel us. Cheese. Coming in through the camera. Look at that. Anyway. You can almost touch us, can't you? You see it? Oh, shit. <laughs> Pretty freaking close. I'll tell you that right now. Listen, um, as we promised, guys, you know, we're here, we're back, we're doing visuals. And uh today we're gonna have like a very special, interesting, controversial episode. Because what would say it how you feel be without controversy, right? Controversy time. Oh man, it's always so special, so special when you guys come back here. And because you know where you're at, you know who you're talking to. And if you didn't know, I'm Mo. I'm say, and it's controversial time, bitch. It's about to get real. <laughs> say how you feel, but <laughs> we might hey, have to disclaimer. change the name after this. Yeah. Personal disclaimer here. All right, Facts. the views expressed on this show are merely the views of Say and Mo. Nobody right. else on this has any fucking. Well, who else does this, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but research department, the research department. Hey, they 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 don't they don't have a horse in this game, right? No dog in this fight. All right, so that's right. We're gonna come with the facts. We're gonna come with our opinions mostly, and uh, kick back, relax, and enjoy this shit. You know, that's right. That's right. So let's let's tell them what we're talking about today. So today's episode is going to be talking about uh, trans. There's many different types of trans, as we've come to realize. <laughs> Damn, bro. Can I finish before you start? Breathe a little hard and shit? My Come bad. on, man. It's just when, when, whenever this topic comes up, you got to take a go. deep breath because you got to get ready. Like, here we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Anyway, back. So listen, trans. We're talking about transphobic trans ageism transient all types of shit right transportation at the by the end of this fucking episode but listen <laughs> whether you got start... four wheels or two bitch you know it's all up to you what you decide to do <laughs> Let, let's just start this bitch off right okay yeah. the first thing i want to talk about bro and um it's been fucking gnawing at me i seen this thing where this guy in ecuador changed his fucking gender to help win a custody case right and when I when I saw it, I was like, yo, that's pretty fucking that's smart. That's a smart thing to do, right? You want like, your that's kids? Chess. That is chess. Checkers. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Like he said it in the Denzel voice. This is chess, not checkers. Like I, I hear it. You know what I'm saying? I hear it. So I'm I'm reading the shit and I'm like, yo, <laughs> this motherfucker is nice. Like, and but the problem is though, there's always a, there's always a plot twist, right? The problem is the trans community is in an uproar because of it right they're pissed because of it mm. and i'm like but why it's like he's using your logic but only to benefit him why is that a bad thing and let's get into it i mean so it's it's so inclusive right like you know the language that we're speaking now we're using proper pronouns like we're all about uh inclusivity Mm -hmm. You know, rather than, you know, excluding people and separating people. And we're really treating people the way they want to be treated, the way I, they identify. Fact. So what is the issue with identifying as a mother or a woman, you know, mm -hmm. because when it comes to this judicial system, especially when it comes to children and custody, nine chances out of ten, they lean more towards the woman's side. So if it's two women involved in this, do they have a side to pick or do are they just going with the facts at that point? Well, let me let me let me assist you to begin with. It's not mother anymore. It's now birthing person, right? That's, That's gangster. What... <laughs> That's gangster, cuz. What what makes that what makes that gangster? The birth about? giver. <laughs> the birth exactly. giver. That should yeah. sound like like a character on World of Warcraft or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I summon you, birth giver. He pops Listen, out with a baby. Blah. It sounds more like a. It sounds more like. A, it sounds more like a fucking Pokemon, to be honest with you. And it's crazy <laughs> that we're even bringing this up. So, anywho, as you were saying, mothers slash birth giver get birth givers, get uh, you know, they get that. We'll, we can't call it special treatment. We'll call it. I don't uh, know what the fuck you want to call it. Preference. Well, 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 yeah, preference. Uh, mm -hmm. it's preferential treatment. You know. That's right. They're, pref they're, they're preferred. Okay. For some so reason. Now my, Here's my thing, right? What is it to be mad about if the if the gentleman, first of all, his name is Rene? Is it Rene Salinas Ramos? I think that's his Anything name. Anything right? for Salinas. 
my 47. Bad. Nah, it's okay. Whenever, I'll, whenever, like whenever I hear that, bro. Whenever it's, I hear that, that's the first thing that comes to my mind is anything for a Like, no? That, that don't happen to you? No, just get, I'm trying Fuck. to, I'm, I'm trying to get it, you know, I'll come, get it Sorry. up. Let it up. My bad. You done? Go ahead. I'm done. Okay. 47 year old man, right? If he says he identifies as a woman, right? And whether the, whether it's, you know, he does or he does not, who is anyone to say based on trans, we'll call it trans logic, right? Or the trans community's logic to question him. Hey, That's what I want to know. I I don't know. I'm right here with you because uh, you know the way I look at it is you've been a man for 47 years. If it's time for you to make that change, you know whether or not you're a man or not at this point. You know, so hey, you do you, brother. If Caitlyn Jenner can do it, you can too. Did he pick his female name yet? I don't know. I I think Salinas is the female name. I would say I, I think, think Renee Renee is kind of you know it's one of those a, ones that could go yeah. either way. You 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 tiptoeing, yeah. But besides the point. My thing is, who is anyone to say anything about it? You know what I'm saying? And the answer is no one, based on the logic that is given to us by the community in the first place. So this shit brought me back to like another another like key uh, focal point. It's this conservative reporter, journalist, or whatever the fuck he is. Michael knows, right? This guy, he has these talking points, and I'm just like, bruh, he makes a lot of sense. Now, I know what he's saying can sometimes seem insensitive. But he's making harsh. some foot. Uh, is it really harsh though? If it's facts, this is I saying mean, how you feel. Yeah, and we I said this when you know when we first started talking, as um as talking shit, you know, as sometimes how? shit smells sometimes shit smells a little bit sweet to others, and sometimes that shit stinks, and when it stinks. It stinks. Like you could, it not, hurts your soul to stink so bad. You know? We're not flies. Listen, I, I get that. But it can't be talking shit if it's facts, bro. You're just speaking facts. Just because you don't like to hear the facts don't mean nothing. That don't mean that don't mean shit. How about that? That don't yeah. mean nothing. Your so, feelings don't matter. It don't. So, but this the show is this show, this show is called Say It How You say Feel. It how you feel. Yep. I get it. But like I say a million times, just because you say it how you feel does not mean that's what it is. We know this. We're past that already. That's why we have these conversations. Say it how you feel is like the opening door. However, this motherfucker is saying facts. And because he's saying facts, people are getting upset. And their initial response to him is to like just make up gibberish. And I've seen him catch people in loops and catch them. And and, and it's just like, why? And and flip their logic on them. Like, okay, yes. well, if that's, if that's the way you're going to go with this, then... Yes. It was one time he was talking to this chick and he was like, well, I identify as the correct person. I identify yes. as the correct on this issue. And you have yes. to respect my identity. She was like, yes. no, because you're, you're not. A He's like, bitch. are you? <laughs> no. Ooh. Yeah. And then he was like, he's like, OK. She's like, so are you? He's like, are you a, a physicist in genetic uh, DNA, something makeup, genetic DNA makeup? or anything? She's like, no. He's like, so how are you able to tell me anything? I'm using your logic, your logic against you. And clearly clearly there's a disconnect so that's my point man my biggest thing is like i've seen so many people get mad about this but i'm like good for that dude i'm glad he was able to fucking to win custody of his kids now if he's a monster of a parent then that's different but i'm like why are it's, people upset i about to say it sounds like a dad who really wants his kids that's what it sounds like to me exactly you know? so and that's just from the outside looking in i don't know this man i don't know anything this is the first time i heard about this case yeah but if you were going to go to that extreme to change your complete identity and gender for your children to get sole custody of your children then who am i to tell you that you're in the wrong or to tell you that the move that you're making is wrong because I, it's insensitive I'm, to the trans community that's why well, insensitive sensitive like <laughs> come on man this whole like i it whenever this topic comes up i feel like i sound so much worse than I think you know like it's just you do I know because it's like Dave said it best like you be you I'm not gonna tell you that you can't be who you are and I respect the fact that you are that person mm -hmm. but to what extent do I have to play this game with you you know what I'm saying mm. like you're that's an obvious man that's a man yes. I don't give a fuck mm -hmm. what he or she thinks or says they are you are a man sir and you cannot get mad if i address you as sir when i first see you after the fact okay you let me know your pronouns all right cool i guess we'll play this game uh mm. ma'am but 
that's an obvious sir. And if you get upset the first time I call you sir without you without me knowing or you identifying yourself, then at that point it's like, what you thought this was going like this? This is a charade game we're playing here, you know? Okay, so here's my thing, right? I I I me personally, bro, I just. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Like, I, I kind of just like, I don't even entertain it. I'm not even saying entertain. It. I don't want to come off like insensitive. And we'd already give a cursor, a pre warning to this whole episode. But I'm gonna yeah. say how I feel. I'm gonna be keep it real. If I see someone and they appear to be a ma'am, right? I'm gonna say ma'am. If you correct me, then okay, cool. I'll call you whatever you want me to call you. I'll call you anything. Whatever you want me to call you, I'll call you it. Trust me. Um. <laughs> however. <laughs> However, if it's me and I'm just making the, I don't want to say assumption, but if I'm just seeing, I'm seeing someone for the first time and I don't know that, I'm just going to call you, you know, ma'am, sir, or whatever. And if you address me the other way or you, you you let me know you want me notified or called by something else, then I'll, that's what I'll do. But at the end of the day, I'm not stressing over it. I'm not losing sleep over it. I'm not getting mad about it. It doesn't fucking bother me. I feel like too many people spend too much energy and time Facts. on on shit that doesn't make sense, that we that no one would would know without having a, a conversation. Yeah, it's it's not like I'm going to your fucking LinkedIn profile and your pronouns are listed. That's different. I get that. But if I'm if I'm in if I'm in public, right, and I'm walking, I say, "Excuse me, ma'am." You can't get mad about that, or "Excuse me, sir." You know what I'm saying? Now, if you look a little spicy, and you know what I mean when I say spicy, spicy, zesty, right? zesty is the proper terminology here, sir. Okay, zesty. You look a little zesty, right? There you I'm go. just gonna say, excuse me, right? Person, I'm not excuse me, person. <laughs> you know, I think that's a catch-all. That's what I'm gonna start doing shit from here on out. I'm not gonna say, sir, or ma'am. Person is the most respectful thing that you could call somebody. But what if they're like, oh, I identify I'm as a, a goat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dog today. <laughs> like exactly. Right. And I'm telling you, this shit is bleeding into other stuff, bro. Yes. It's not even about oh we're getting into it. We're getting into it. It's bleeding into other shit. Dangerous, dangerous shit. But, but I, you, I don't know if you want to go, but there's I, we could we could take a little side route before we get to that dangerous shit. I'm just saying we'll do this. Go ahead. The game, the game of inclusivity mm -hmm. is a dangerous game. It's a wild game because. Mm -hmm. When you start talking about inclusive and including different communities and um, different cultures and different ways of life, when you say I can't judge one because of something, now that's it becomes like a blanket statement. I can't judge anybody for what they're into as an adult. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't I can't judge anybody now. Right. Because that's the game we're playing. You right. know, it's all about in including you and however you choose to identify yourself because that's your that's true right. self mm -hmm. i have been saying from the jump Here as we soon go. as we as soon as we started adding them extra letters on once the lgbtqr fucking I. uh i uh with the plus and all of that shit once we Bro. started adding on and people started you know just coming out of the woodwork with the most wildest shit i knew eventually that there was going to be one community that was going to see this shit and fucking run with it. Mm -hmm. And it's sick ass pedophiles. I saw some shit today. Okay. We're going there. Where? Sorry. We're going there. We're, the ship has sailed. <sighs> this motherfucker <sighs> said, I identify as a nine year old girl and he had pigtails and a <laughs> binky in his mouth. I see First it. of all, okay, go ahead. what Sorry. nine year old, you know, still sucking on a binky. Oh God. That lets you know how sick how yeah. sick the mind is of some of these people, bro. And I just knew it was coming. These boy lovers, these little girl lovers, these just sick people are using this wave to say, hey, well, you got to include us too. Because I was born this way. Mm -hmm. I was born this way. I've always loved little kids. Like, the fuck is wrong? Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway because I feel like it's my job to do this. Right, it's my job to do this. I gotta play. You gonna play advocate. devil's advocate? I have to. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Wait, 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 wait. All right. I'm not. I'm. I'm not the. <laughs> okay. Here we wait. go. Uh, you're horrible because he was like, "Well, we guess you're gonna fucking play devil's advocate." I gotta. I gotta do it, bro. I have to do it. There's no way. Like, if we can't, because come on, you're man. better at the shit than me. You are better at the shit than me. Yeah. You just call me, ma'am. I am, <laughs> sir, sir. This is the fuck I am. You're gonna use my proper pronouns. God damn it. <laughs> 
my god given pronouns that's what we gotta start writing now anyway listen all right so i'm not really gonna play devil's advocate on this one i'm i'm being honest i just want to i want to ask a question i'm just gonna ask a question really quickly so i'm not in no way shape or form you know into that shit right the trans ageism all that shit whatever <clears throat> my thing is like how many other kids do you know want to do things with other kids though kids this is, the, this is the tr- it's sexual shit right. involved in kid <clears throat> stuff anyways correct you know what i'm saying like for someone to say that they are attracted to kids mm-hmm. and you identify as a kid would mean that you are bringing a element to a kid that is not yes. a natural element you know what that's, i'm saying yes exactly it's not stealing. it's not a natural thing exactly you're stealing you're, their fucking innocence their innocence exactly, exactly. you are yeah. taking their innocence from them and mm-hmm. introducing them to something that should not be introduced you know what i'm saying at this point correct it's fucking sick it is sick it's disturbing it's um it's it's a fucking list of atrocities but <clears throat> that was my biggest bro, thing, right? This nigga had a fucking <laughs> binky in his mouth, bro. I like... am going to I'm going to put this I'm going to put the picture here. So you guys it's going to go right here. You guys will see it. It's going to go right here. You're like, "What the fuck?" You I'm telling you, I'm going to put it. It's fucking wild. It's disturbing. It's disturbing. It's fucking disturbing. And uh I was dying, but I was like, "This is not funny. This is actually pretty dangerous." Cuz he looks he looks weird. He looks like a, a like a 300 pound pedo. And he's holding a teddy bear, bro. Yeah, with pigtails. Uh, yeah, pigtails. Yeah, like what? But again, I knew I from the jump. As soon as we started going down this path, I can you know he she. Okay, cool. I'm here mm-hmm. with you. You want to be him? Okay, you want to be a she? You got it. All right. They them. We start going down mm. this path. More than one now. Okay, uh-huh. you don't really identify as anything. Uh-huh. Okay, what's another pronoun that they use? Um, I, the Demi I, Lovato I, one, bro. Don't forget that one. Like she comes right before the whole ageism shit too, man. Don't. What was hers? What did she say? I, I don't know. She was she was a fucking alien, bro. She was she was something. She old, she took it a whole nother level, bro. You know what she said? I think she said she's transracial. I think she even said she was black. I think she's. That shit all started with that one, uh, Rachel Dolza. Yeah. Yo. You know, transracial. That's. Yo. That's a gangster move to pull, man. It's a gangster. Listen, again, man. I some of these cases, I really do respect them. Like, you got a lot of balls, bitch. Like, <laughs> hey, so, the unmitigated goal. Here, here, here's my question, right? It, not getting off of the whole trans age. The how you said is it not trans ageism? Okay, That's what yeah, it was. So, trans ageism. Okay, not getting off of that, but my thing is like, okay, let's say we do start hitting into like the trans racial. Right, like I identify as black, or I, I identify, identify as Chinese, white. or chi- or you know, yeah, Chinese, right? Mm-hmm. Who is anyone to say they're not? Based on the logic, exactly. we're not going. We're not going on. We're not going by DNA. We're not going by what you can see for face value, right? Who is anyone to tell them they're not? But look at logic, the rapper logic. Look at him, like he's black, right? His daddy is black. Right, his mom is white. Logic is white. <laughs> as a biracial man, as a biracial yeah. man, yes, I can only listen to the biracial plight so much before I'm like, okay, I get it. You're confused. We've all been there, man. We've all yeah. been there. I was the lightest kid in my fucking school for a long time, and there's other situations where I've been the darkest person in the room. You know, yeah. so the the biracial plight, you know, it's falling on deaf ears here. You know, it's mm-hmm. like I get it. You know, I'm black and white, man, man. Like I don't, nigga, spend some bars. They go with this dumb shit no more. Right. But where right. I was gonna go with this is, I saw this uh woman. I think she was in London. Mm-hmm. Who oh. um, did she get hit in the head? Or she fell? Maybe she had a stroke. Something happened to her head, and this woman woke up with a southern accent. Like fresh out the south, nigga. I'm talking like Tennessee. Oh in my London. god, bitch ain't never had Kentucky Fried Chicken a day in her life. Ain't never seen a possum. This bitch Yo. don't know nothing about no gators, and uh-huh. she sounded just like uh buddy from uh from the Water Boy <laughs> or from Joe Dirt. You know, yes. I'm the only way you make it. Like she sounded like this bitch drank moonshine. Like she made that oh fucking white god. lightning. And it's fucking hilarious. But who are you to say that that's not her native Inner tongue? Inner monologue, yeah, or her inner yeah, monologue, or that's whatever. The voice. How hilarious would that be if that's the voice she always heard? <laughs> it could be. 
It could be. I think now we're low key getting into like the fucking the demons and possessions <laughs> shit. But hey, we're yeah. Bro. It could be. It could be in a monologue, bro. And who's anyone to tell her that it's not? It's not true. It's not real. <laughs> oh man, that just took me down a completely different road. Just thinking about people's inner monologue. It's like, what do these voices sound like? Oh, we're not doing that. God. We're not doing that because that's a that whole is... that's a whole episode in itself. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing it. Anyway, back to the back to the point though. This is the thing that kills you, man. It's just like there's so many fucking loopholes. Why can't we just stick to facts? We can still we can still do inclusive uh inclusive how you said inclusivity, right? We yeah. can still do that. It's not a problem. It's just I feel like when you try to force it on everybody else, just like religion, just like anything, right? Um, I have no problem with anyone having a certain type of sexual preference, a uh, certain type of religion, you know, doing their own practices within the confines of themselves, right? Yeah. And even as to go as far as their family, but there comes a point in time where children grow up and they want to they want to do different things and they don't want to be restricted to the confines of oh, that religion or oh, I have to like this or do this. That's mm-hmm. why there was such a hard time with people coming out. Because of the fear of what would happen if they did. Like, there comes a point in time where, like, as we get older, we have to be somewhat accepting. And as a parent, I know I may, God forbid, one day eat these words, but I'm being realistic. Like, there comes a point in time where I have to, what I'm enforcing onto them is no longer valid. And they're going to make their own choices and decisions. And that's what it comes down to. However, though, for everybody else around you, there's no reason why, why your lifestyle should affect mine. Because now your lifestyle is affecting mine. So what do I do about it? I just accept it? Nah. Not no, at all. That's not going to happen. No. We have a problem. And that's where we're at right now. We're at this we're at this this crossroads where it's like, bro, make it make sense, you know? The 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 thing that kills me the most is that everybody wants everybody to give a fuck about their feelings. And the reality of the world in the grand scheme of things is you don't fucking matter. You really nope. don't. Nope. Don't matter your creed, your color, your religion. Mm-hmm. You really nope. don't matter in the grand scheme of things, man. You are here for a limited amount of time. Can That's you right. make things better while you're here? Absolutely. And, you know, right. I feel like everybody should want to make things better. But we should not want to always be the star of the show if you want to make things This is not about making things better for other people. This is about your personal beliefs, your mm-hmm. feelings on your identity. It's not about the people around you. You know, so, like, when you bring your sexuality which is cool. It's your business. Mm-hmm. We don't give a fuck, though. Keep that shit to yourself, bitch. Like, you a keep fact. that shit in your bedroom. That don't got shit to do with me. I'm not That's fucking right. you. So why do I need to know this shit? Like, if you're a cool person, you're a cool person. If you're a bad person, you're a fucking horrible person. Like, you, I don't <laughs> even right. want you here. Bitch, go jump That's off it. a bridge. And I mean that. So no, it's yeah. like... It's uh, that's that's what kills me, man, is everybody wants everybody to give a fuck about their feelings. And it's just like... You can't. And I know my words could come back to bite me in the ass because playing devil's advocate, somebody could be like, well, so why should anybody give a fuck about what's happening with black people and police? Mm. Right. And in those terms, I could also say that's in your face, bro. Like you see, did you see buddy get tased today to death? Yeah, yeah. To death. Yeah, I saw that. That shit's sad as fuck, bro. Yeah. I don't see that shit happening to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. he was trans and that shit happened, it'd be a whole fucking movement behind this shit. It's true. But we but that, we keep uh, we keep coming back to the same fucking conversation. You know, it's yeah. every year, every two years, we right back in the same boat. He even said before the shit happened, they're trying to George Floyd me. When the fuck did George Floyding become a fucking verb? Mm. When did that become a fucking action to happen to somebody? You're trying to George Floyd me. That is fucking sad, bro. That's sad. And I like again, I feel like I'm kind of eating my own words at this point. But it, when it no. breaks down, when when it breaks down to it, bro, it's not that's not about my personal feelings. You know what I'm saying? That is about what's affecting a bunch of uh, an entire multiple generations of people. Right. So here's the thing, though, and I'm not trying to justify either or, but I'm gonna be realistic, right? Um, people getting offended or being upset in regards to what you call them or identify them as is not physically assaulting them. Fact. We're not getting physical. We're not no. beating people up because we call you ma'am or sir. Now, can it lead to altercations? Absolutely. Of, of course, right? But the yeah. difference is there is death, harm, and serious bodily harm 
and a lot of other things that are happening because of actions. That's different, right? That's when you, mm-hmm. that's when you, a movement is required. So that's the difference between fucking up somebody's pronouns and tasing someone to death because of the color of skin. It's not it's really different. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Not in 2023. I'm rubber, <laughs> I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you say, bounces off me. It sticks back to you. You remember these little phrases that we had coming Bullshit. up? Bullshit. When the fuck did that go out the window? Bro, it it it's it, we're that ship has sailed. That ship has sailed. That's mm-hmm. that's not happening. Words, words are like nuclear bombs at this point. Words hurt. Words they do. hurt. They do. And I, I for some I soft people, movie. I said it. No, I I watched this movie, man. Uh, mm-hmm. it was a documentary on HBO, uh-huh. and it was about bullying. Oh man! And you do see that words really do hurt. You know the psychological yeah. effects of of people fucking with you on a regular basis. Yes. Not everybody has the the fortitude or the support system that you need because you do. This is a self confidence thing that needs to be built up in people mm-hmm. for them to be able to say. Your words don't matter. How you feel about me does not. I don't care, you know? Mm. And I feel like if that was pushed more towards the forefront of your words can't affect me. And I know words do hurt. You know, I'd have been called some hellacious shit at some point. <laughs> and that's one reason why I got my roast game together. <laughs> yeah, you have to. I had a bitch call me a mudblood at fucking Harry Potter. The premiere to uh, the Sorcerer's oh Stone. My- God and a mudblood in Harry Potter is just uh, a half uh, uh, a half uh, muggle and half wizard, right? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Bitch, that was the most racist shit I had ever experienced at that point in my life. Like this bitch is calling me a mudblood. She hate black people, but she was it was a Harry Potter reference. You know yeah. the context of that is what I was not aware of. You know, yeah. So okay. There is something, though, that I didn't want to say. And I, I've said this before on the show. I know I have. Um, when you say one negative thing, right, you have to say 50 positive things to counteract that one negative, right? When you look at plants, you talk negatively, negatively to plants. They don't grow. If you speak positivity into them, they do. Like, words do have meaning. Words do carry. That's why manifestation, frequency, all, frequency manifestation, all these things are real. However... I will say this too. Um, it starts to go into like another form and realm. And I'm learning about this as I go through life. You know, like, I don't want to say casting spells, but all this shit is tied in. It's all tied together, bro. It really is. And when you have um, bullying, right? You, you're right. You do need to have that mental fortitude. But I do believe that a lot of where that's coming from today is this participate this participation trophy system that we have going on now it has a lot to do with lose the, the value of working hard Facts. america is always wondering why okay you know we have these fucking teenagers these adults these fucking millennials that don't want to work right where do you think that comes from when you you know all your life you're telling them that they could just not do anything and get rewarded for it and now we need our workforce to fucking to 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 push us to the next 10 20 years and this is the highest fucking, what is it? Rece- not recession, um, a quit force. I forgot what they called it. They had a certain term where, where it's the highest that they ever had ever where people are not working and they're just choosing not to work. And one thing about that whole movement is that people know their value now. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like people are, they realize that I could die tomorrow. Mm-hmm. This company don't give a fuck. They're going to replace me. Correct. So why the fuck should I give like my my personal time is way more important That's than right. this job. And in other countries, that work to life balance is, is, is a yeah, lot even. more acceptable. You know what I'm that's saying? Right. So that's that's one reason. It's the 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 climate here in America needs to change. That's why True. things are so bad. Niggas don't have to work this hard. These companies don't have to we don't have to be at work fucking 40 hours a week. We really don't. That's you know true. what I'm saying? But capitalism is the driving force behind this shit. How are we such a major superpower in the world and we don't have some of these universal things such as universal education, universal health care? You know what I'm saying? I'm working my ass off to pay taxes on shit that's already taxed. How many times you going to tax a nigga? And then at the end of the year, you give me my money back that you taxed me for. Why wouldn't you just not tax me and let me just have that shit for the jump? Or a portion of it. You know what I'm saying? Or a portion of it. That's right. This shit is... 
it, this this game yeah. this that's why and i feel like that's the only way to make a change me and this lady had a conversation the other day i, I work mm -hmm. for a company that is charging some bullshit like uh and they expect me to sell this shit i'm too honest too honest of a man for this i tell motherfuckers all the time look i understand that you want to save some money i'm mm -hmm. going to look into some things for you but i'm going to tell you where you at right now is the best it's going to get so we can play this game <laughs> i will play this game with you but i'm letting you know this is the best it's going to get for now mm -hmm. and she said if we just if everybody just decided to stop they would have to change this they how are you going to convince everybody to stop look at the price of eggs nigga have you seen the price of eggs lately yeah 8 829 the price of peanut butter. Mm. The Nigga. price of milk. Bro, peanut butter went up $3. Who the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, like, but if everybody just stopped buying peanut butter, it'll be it a surplus down. of peanut butter. And then it's what, what's going to happen? It's going to be some asshole that's going to come buy all the fucking peanut butter and put another $3 on that shit. Like, if you want the peanut butter, you got to go through me. This capitalism mm -hmm. game is what's killing our workforce. It's not that people don't want to work. It's that people are tired of being walked over, bro. People I, are tired of being treated listen, less than. And I get that too. I do get that. However, you know, that's that's a whole nother conversation for another day, to be honest with you. Because we can we can sit here, we can go, we can t an hour on that shit. But the yeah. point I'm making about when it comes to bullying and the sensitivity is that you gotta you gotta have tough skin. Like um I know people want to get away from it, but like that was one of the biggest issues that I've had in the military. People are too fucking sensitive. And sometimes I'm a bit abrasive. You know me. You work with me. Shit, you work yeah. for me. Vice versa. I work for you. You know that I'm a bit abrasive. And I am not a fucking, I'm not a casual taste. Pause. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if you've never really like experienced working with me, you're like, yo, I, I want to kill this nigga. And then of fuck course this nigga. That was the first thing I thought when I mentioned it, man. Fuck this nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> to this day. To this day, I know people that are just like, bro, you are not a fucking commodity because you're just different. But the point that I'm making, bro, is that my 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 parents weren't like over the fucking top. You know, I'm I, okay. I come from New York City. Okay, cool. So what, right? Does that really give me tough skin? And then I really realized, yes, it does. Bro. Yes, it does. It yep. does because I see these other people around the world, and it's like, you guys wouldn't be able to last two hours or an hour in my shoes. If you didn't have tough skin mm -hmm. and one thing about the tough, bro, they're going to survive. It's like, come on, starving. You ain't, you ain't beating that. Yeah. Right. The only strong survive. So it's like, we really do have to get away from this. Um, I, I, I feel like we have to get away from this fucking participant. Uh, trophy Absolutely. Participant, all that yeah, shit. I bro. feel that too. I the the bullying too. shit. Listen, bullying has done more for me than anything else it taught me so much it actually taught me this is chess not checkers like you need to be tactical and it also makes you think right and i'm not talking about shooting up schools think i'm talking about it makes you think okay cool this motherfucker is gonna pick on me every day but do you know you take a couple martial arts classes or you get yourself in that men that war mentality of like okay well that fighting mentality like this shit stops today mm -hmm. i promise you Every time you see this motherfucker, y'all gonna fight. Eventually, he's like, "Yo, I'm not, I'm not fucking with this dude. I'm gonna go pick well, on someone who's weak." And it's the same thing with you know the words, right? That's right. You got somebody that keep coming at you with these words, <clears throat> talking about your mom, talking about your race, talking about your skin, talking about all of that bullshit. You get your words together and say, "Okay, so what is he insecure about?" That's right. What about your shoes? Let's talk mm. about that, you know? Let's so talk about where you live. Yeah, let's talk exactly. about Exactly. You know let's talk How about you your living? home life. You know, mm -hmm. What about your dad? Where your dad at? You ain't seen him in a while, huh? Like that shit hurts too, <laughs> don't it, bitch? So Yo, you your know, mom has an OnlyFans? What? <laughs> what? Whoa, that's about crazy, to subscribe bro. right now. So Yo, it's like, yeah. When it comes to I I, I completely understand what you're saying, man. I, yeah, I completely man. agree. This participation trophy and everybody. Just because you did your best, you like, no, you mm -hmm. lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your best was not good enough. Scoop it up, yeah. catch you next year. You know what that's I'm right. saying? Like, that's you. you it's the thing Say about it. this current climate that we in. It's, 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 it's niggas is soft, bro. Like, they are. people are soft. We are, it's because things are so much easier now because everybody's feelings matter. That's everybody's right. feelings matter. That's and that's why things are so soft. You have to hurt feelings. 
You know, you sometimes that's people got to go through tough shit that makes you a better person. It really it does. does. It's you like know? everyone wants to su- everyone wants the success without the work, and exactly. it's not gonna happen. Everyone wants the inclus- inclusivity without fucking like, why are we including you? What the fuck have you motherfuckers done for us to even think about including you? Besides, have a sexual preference. What the fuck does that have to do with me? Now, are you mother like are you guys donating and bringing awareness to other shit that people could say, yo, they have to acknowledge people because they're doing something? And again, they could say the same thing about black people, right? But let's be realistic. America was founded on black people, literally. Nice. Standing Put on the them, work in. Put standing the work on them. In. Yeah. When they say backbone, come on. So let's be realistic, right? But at the end of the day, here we are, right? Here we are. So you want inclus- inclusivity. You want all this, you want the, all this acknowledgement, but for what? And why the fuck should we care? We shouldn't. It's completely different if people were out there beating the fucking shit out of trans people. Then you got my you got my vote. You got my attention. You have my it support. Is, it's happened sporadically. You know it's what I'm happened, saying? There are, some, there are some places where, you know, yeah. trans people really fear for their life. You know, <clears throat> not, especially not like black people, though. Not mm. like the gentleman we saw get murdered this afternoon on on mm. on camera. Not like him. Again. Not like that. Again. Sorry. Again. Sorry. Sorry, Again. not sorry. I'm being real, and honestly, I'm a, I'm gonna say how I feel. I don't give a fuck about anyone's pref- like personal preference when it comes to their sexuality, religion, whatever, bro. You could say you're a witch, and I'd be like, that's nice, that's dope, that's cool. I think that's fucking awesome. Actually, I don't give a fuck. My thing is when your lifestyle starts to bleed into mine, or your lifestyle affects mine in a negative way, we have a problem. We have a problem because there's so much we can learn from each other on different levels. So I'm happy that people are different and they experience different things because it's a learning process. Like you said, you said it today, bro. Mm-hmm. We're here for a short time. So like us um, trying to make the best of this time is what makes a happy life, right? And other countries do not have these, do not have these particular problems. They look at America as a fucking joke, right? Facts. And that's okay. I also, I'm seeing it. I know you see it too, but the point that I'm making, man, and I think we've beat this fucking horse is like at the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck. And it's definitely different when it starts to affect black and brown people or just mm-hmm. strictly black people in general about, you know, being victimized and 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 all this other shit that's coming from them. And I'm I'm beyond sick of it. So that's how I stand. But this whole trans shit, I don't think it's transphobic. I just think like you start it's a dangerous slippery slope. Like I can say what? I'm an alien, bro. Once we start talking inclusivity, now right. it's like who all is included. You know, you can't open right. the door for some and then right. go, whoa, hold up, wait, you done, you done went too far now. Like, uh, no, like, <laughs> fuck are we doing? What are okay. we doing? Because who twist. are you to say what's too far? Plot twist. I say a lot is too far, but I'm just Plot really twist. Mad. What okay. happens for a person that says, oh, I'm a serial killer, but... I like to do sexual things before I kill them. That's my sexual preference. Does that count? Could that count? Right? Or let's say, or I, I, I do you one better, right? I do you one better. Let's say you have someone who says, my sexual preference is cutting people, deep lacerations, right? I don't know if you would call it a, a, a thing. I know there's things that like that that exist. Oh, yeah. Motherfuckers do that shit. I was right. thinking even deeper than that. What if their whole preference is to fuck dead people? That's Ooh. their that's their stick as they like fucking corpses, right? Are they included Yo. underneath this plus sign at that necrophilia, end of right? Necrophilia. Necrophilia. That's the only way I can climax. That's the only mm-hmm. that, that, that's who I am sexually attracted to is cold corpses that have that lifeless look. Oh my god, you're sick. I was just talking about lacerations and cutting people and sodomizing people because people do that. But okay, you want to take it a step further? Hey man, that, now what? So, Exactly. Are they included in this? Can you take them to jail for fucking a body? What if they couldn't find a dead body and made a dead body? You know what making a dead body is? is killing somebody. What if they decided to do that? Mm. Are they mm. covered underneath this banner that you got, you know, this, this this plus sign on the end of this? It's a slippery slope when we talk inclusivity. Inclus- in- I said it right the first time, didn't I? I th- you did. All right. It's a real slippery slope, and that's why it's like, at this point, just Keep your shit where it's at. I don't need to know. <laughs> nobody true. needs to know what you into. As yeah, as long just, as you're not hurting nobody. Yes. Just be a good person. That's right. Be a good person. And good people don't hurt people on That's purpose. True. On purpose. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Just and if you hurt people on purpose and that's how you get your kicks, guess what? You're a bad person. <laughs> Unless you're a boxer or a fighter, but again. Uh, uh yeah. I know what you meant. I know what you meant, bro. You, you know, you know what I, I know mean. what you, you I know, know what you meant, man. You I got you. hurt people on people on purpose. Yeah, whatever yeah. the fuck. Yeah. yeah. I'm just I got saying you. it's this it's a real slippery slope, man. It's a real slippery slope. And I'm just I'm so over this language. I'm so over this shit. I'm so tired of it. Genetics speak for themselves, man. Buddy said, uh, no matter what you identify as today, when you die and they dig your body up in a thousand years and they identify your bones. Man or woman. That is it. Y chromosome or no Y chromosome. It's the way this That's works. It. That's it. The way God intended. Ha! Don't do it. I knew you was going to fucking do it. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. You know we in hot water with them from last fucking episodes. Don't do it. We got a cease and desist, everybody. A fucking cease and desist. A couple of churches man. came out and they was they was they was praising the Lord, man. They not they, they are not happy with us. Don't do it. I You're love my Jesus. Them. I bet you do. <laughs> love my Jesus. What's his name? Is he black? Is he white? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. call him hey, hey Juan. You know what I'm saying? He, he's actually Puerto Rican. It's, it's Jesus, but okay. It's Jesus. Uh, he, bro. Hey Juan is his name. Oh my it's, God. I'm not actually. With you. We put an extra J in there because you know the letter J. I ain't even going to go into it. We're not doing this. Know. All right, moving on. But regardless anyway, of the fact. Regardless. Yeah, man. Um, When it comes down to it, bro, um, it's just, it's um, it's a wild game we play in here in America, man. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's only, it's only going to get worse. I don't see it getting any better, you know, and when it comes to your side of things, what's worse and what's better? That's the real question you need to, mm -hmm. it's going to come a time where you need to pick and choose what side you're on. And that's just sucks. That's what yeah. sucks. Because I feel like when you do pick sides, there's never a winning side, if that makes nope. sense. Because, because then you, you're going to have no conversation. Exactly. exactly. There's no conversation. In it. it's, it's either you're wrong or I'm right. That's the way it goes. There's mm -hmm. never a middle ground. And when it comes to certain things, there should not be a middle ground, such as trans ageism. I there should be no middle ground there. That's black or white. Like it's, it's either you do or you don't. And if you don't, yeah. you need to be completely against those who do. And people, some would argue that even that statement right there is picking a side. I and definitely them, pick a side. And to them, I, I definitely say, pick fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yep. That's a, I'm going to die on that hill. And I'm yeah. going to kill to get to that hill. That's what makes it even worse. <laughs> oh, God. He's, he said it on camera, so you know he's serious. I said it, I like swear, gonna time stamp man. this shit like, oh, remember that time that, you know, yeah. Listen, I'm going to be real with you, bro. Um, I feel like we're getting there. I feel like it's closer than we than we think. It's already happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand why we would even sit. It's kind of weird, though. The same people who are so, like, against of giving equal rights for people, the same ones that are saying, yeah, this is okay. Weird. That is weird. That is so weird, right? That's that's a... Hmm. It almost doesn't make any sense. It's quite the conundrum we run into Why are here. you 79 years old, 81 years old, saying, no, we don't want to give rights to gays. We don't want to give rights to trans, but we'll definitely, definitely give lower rights the to legal these... eight to these, yeah. These, yeah, these minors to do sexual acts. So you like, how old? 13? Hmm. It's, it's, mm, okay, that's acceptable. Is sixth grade? I'm cool with that. I'm cool okay. With that. You just got your period? Okay, cool. You didn't get Weird. your period yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say less. Oh, God. It's fucking sick, man. It it's is disturbing. fucking sick. It is it's disturbing. Sick. But hey, this is where America's going. So I have a buddy who lives in Thailand, right? I'm going to tell you I was, a crazy Real story. quick, hold on. Yeah. They still, like, I still ain't seen this fucking list from Epstein Island. Have you seen that list? No. Nope. Where's the flight log at? Don't know. It's funny how you, it, oh man, here we go. I don't even want to talk about it because motherfuckers is dying left and right. But, uh, the shit's wild. Man. Is, they're dying. They're dying. They're just, poof, poof, they, we care so much about how people feel, but we give so less of a shit about these kids. Mm -hmm. That's what kills me about America. I believe the children are our future. You teach yeah. them well and you let them lead the way. <laughs> 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 Sexual chocolate, everybody. Sexual chocolate. I'm fucking. I'm That's real dead. shit. Though. But I'm dead. 
I, oh my god like that's bro. real oh, shit man shit. like these kids are the future bro oh. and america shows oh every day how less of a shit we give about these kids i know motherfucking people incarcerated get three square meals a motherfucking day for the mm. free that's right and i gotta pay for my kids to eat they don't even get lunch every day you know that monday wednesdays and fridays my kids get lunch are you serious Damn. And I pay a tuition. I pay for these motherfuckers to go to school. And I got to pay for lunch on top of that. Make it make sense. America don't give a fuck about kids. They don't. They want you to have them, but they don't want to help, right? Mm. They want, I mean, but hey, that's so, mm. that's okay, too. That's fine. You know, it's your choice, your body, your choice. That I agree. I'm all for that, It's right? not even your body, your choice anymore. It's not. It's not at this point. It's like, hey, what are we doing? This this literally went from a, 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 trans, to, a trans episode to just like, we're not bashing the government, but we're just like a lot of this shit does not make sense, bro. Because it all feeds back into the all these streams go back to the same river. And yeah. And again, it's not it's also not conservative versus liberal either. Mm -mm. Let's be realistic. It's not. It's not. You know, it's a simple, 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 simple logic. And let's come up with a plan. And I honestly I'm all for hard work. I'm all for fucking grinding stuff out i'm all for like toughen up i'm all for i'm for all that shit i can see so i can see things on both sides bro when it comes to conservatism when it comes to liberalism whatever the fuck you want to call that shit i see it like i understand it and i i think that there's a happy ground there's a happy medium that we can that we can come to and it's just like you no know, everybody wants it that this way everybody wants mm -hmm. it that way there's so much shit that's not making california right now i think has surpassed everyone in like legalizing retardation excuse oh, me yeah. for those who have children or who family have members special who, needs or yes i apologize but yo but yeah california is drinking that fucking kool-aid bro they're yeah. not making no type of sense i'm it's just like babylon, who the fuck? <laughs> babylon that's what that is who who fucking approved that bro who approved that some of the shit that goes on over there bro it's fucking scary it's well, they get rid of, bro they're getting okay so uh, look it up. You can look up anything in California. They have literally passed Florida on like crazy scale. It don't make no sense, bro. Legal, like no one can have phone batteries or some shit. Like you can't have lithium batteries anymore. What? And then, yeah, it's crazy shit going on in California, bro. I, I don't even understand, man. Um, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool off that, as they yeah. say. I'm cool off America. Period. I love America. I served my country. I love my country. Was I was willing to it. die for this motherfucker. Was That's willing right. to die for this bitch. And I did it diligently, right? Facts. Did it, I definitely did. Um, however, it's like, damn, bro. You know, you come home and it's like, man, this is this is what the fuck we're going so hard for. There's no, there's, there's a reason why they haven't. They're about to have a draft, by the way. There will be a draft. Mark my words. There will be a draft. I uh, I can. How much money you want to think? Put I'm on disabled. This? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I cannot <laughs> with you, bro. Hey, my <laughs> computer about to die. I'm about to plug this shit up. I might I lose cannot. you for a second. Oh my god! Listen, I cannot. <sighs> I cannot with you. Anyway, there will be a draft, and when it happens, don't be mad. Don't be mad because I'm telling you, you heard it here first. You heard it here first, and your kids will be going right. And you know they may they may end up with someone who was like me, and they're gonna turn your kids out. Pause. You know, in a, yeah. in a good way, in a good way. You know, they're gonna toughen them up, and it's not gonna be something pretty, man. There's a reason why we have high suicide numbers in the military. There's a reason why we're about to have a draft. Nobody wants to do this shit. Look, what are we doing it for? We get no. What love. are we doing it for? Because I'm gonna go and be a hero when I'm in uniform, but as soon as I take this uniform off. Nigger. I'm uh, ER I, at the end. I, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say I'm a villain, but all right. That's cool, too. You know, the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> same shit, different toilet, right? A name you gave us, too, which is crazy, right? The, hey. Depending, depending on whose eyes it's coming from, you know, who, who depending Facts. on the viewpoint, you know. Facts. It's fucking sad, man. It's sad, mm. bro. Mm -mm -mm. But that's that's our country, you know. It's our country. So, um, another, since this, is, this episode is strictly talking about trans, um, I want to talk about something too that was kind of interesting. Um, when they admitted, not admitted, but when the government decided, okay, look, we're going to have 
we're gonna we're gonna um induct people who are trans into mm -hmm. the military. I was like, yo, listen, that's their business. It's cool. But then I started seeing some of the stuff that came with it, right? Like the training and, and some of the requirements. And I was like, okay, well, that's cool. I'm all for it, but it takes away from their service. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. if you have- Now you're five, a liability. Yes, you're a liability. And there's so, much, there's so many other things that, that, that happen with it, but I'm like, I'm still all for it. However, again, if- if you're supposed to be, let's say you're, you have duty, you're supposed to be somewhere and you're not because you have five appointments lined up throughout the week to go get evaluated, go get seen and stuff like that. Who do you think is filling those gaps? Everyone else that's not, that doesn't have those type of um, appointments and requirements. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I was like, I was seeing it real time and I was like, listen, you know, I'm all for it, but there should be some type of method. It should be Where? viewed as a disability. <laughs> oh my god! Just think about it, bro. If you ahead. wouldn't let somebody in a wheelchair during the military <laughs> uh -huh. because of physical, uh, physical handicaps. Okay. Right? Oh, this is a good point. Go ahead. I got something for you. Go ahead. Because of physical handicaps. Uh huh. Why should? Mm -hmm. You know, we go down the same route. Like, if you had a, oh, damn, it's gonna sound really horrible against women. See how you feel. But you know, she's she says she's a man, so he is here, but he just got his period on duty. He don't got no pads. Somebody come relieve him so that we can continue this exercise. You know, like yes, it's, it's, yeah. but you know, I I don't know, man. It's um, it's a again, it's a slippery slope, slippery okay. slope. <laughs> okay, I got one for you. So this is gonna blow your mind and. For those who are listening, if you're still here, this is going to fucking mm -hmm. trip you out. <laughs> but there was a woman. I need to get her name, bro. Research department. There was a woman, right? She decided she identified as a man, right? If I'm not, I'm, I may be paraphrasing, but she ended up going to a therapist and she went to a hospital and she had her sex change done. Four years or four to three years later. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, I'm going with this, right? Yeah, I know. Four or three years later. She then comes back and she sues the therapist and she sues the hospital, right? And, and this bitch said, I obviously had mental issues. <laughs> what? Yo, I can't breathe. You can't make the, this shit up. The, you can't make the, this shit up. Yo, the, the jokes write themselves. Like, the jokes write themselves. She dead I, ass. I, I clearly had <laughs> mental, mental issues. issues. She said, yo, yo, the shit that kills me is that she's dead ass. She's only suing them because they failed to neglect that she had issues. Wow. Because it was so obvious. It was so obvious. Yo, you yeah, know that black a conscious <laughs> Yo, you know that black dude on TikTok that goes, Oh, oh my <laughs> Oh my days. I got your ass. <laughs> Bro, I'm fucking dead. I Yo, can't. All right. So like that shit, bro. That shit fucking kills me. Cause it does it just doesn't make sense, bro. Like and oh my god, oh my god, I, I'm I'm dumbfounded. She said, obviously, I had some mental <laughs> issues. I don't want to keep laughing. I don't want to keep laughing because I can't. I can't. Like, and watch her win the case. She, watch yeah, her win yeah, it. yeah. I think she's gonna win it too. And the thing is, you know, that's gonna be now. Here's the problem, though. Here's the problem because now this is what's gonna happen. It's a right? slippery slope. Here we go. If she wins that case, that becomes case law, right? Which means if if uh, if someone wants to over if they want to appeal it, right, it would then what? It would have to go to the Supreme Court potentially, depending. I think there's another court involved, but you guys get what the fuck I'm saying. If it gets overruled, then it then has to go to the Supreme Court, right? And then they will decide if it's possible or not, if a person can or cannot, right? It's gonna, it's good. They're gonna get the law involved to where, like, they're gonna set the, they're gonna set the rules. It's shit like this where we now have laws in place, and, and if they're overturning, sorry, if they're overturning Roe v. Wade, what the fuck you think they're gonna do when it comes to trans rights?
And that is going to be a thing where it's like, you cannot have your cake and eat it too. Mm -hmm. This is what you chose. Mm -hmm. This is the path you chose. This wasn't even given to you. That's you right. chose this path. That's and right. now you're trying to renege on your side of the deal. That's right. Can't do it. And you know what that makes you? A renegger. <laughs> That's what it you makes know, you. I do you one better, right? I do you one better. They are officially in hospitals right now on birth certificates. They're putting male, female, unknown. Allegedly, I have to see, I don't know what states particularly, but <clears throat> in some states, there's up to five categories. God five damn. categories for the gender on a birth certificate. I think one of them is like fluid or some shit like that. Like you go with the flow or some shit. I don't fucking know, but I'm just telling you. So now this is a story that I heard, which is fucking disturbing. I actually heard this yesterday. A woman and a man are having a custody battle. So it's a husband and wife, you know, they're getting divorced, whatever they have a child. And this, the father was pleading, bro. He was begging, please don't take my son from me. They gave her custody, right? They gave her, I don't know if it was sole or full custody, but they gave her so uh, full custody, right? It wasn't 50-50. Oh, yeah, you do. She then takes the boy to California to have a sex change because he identified as a female. And she did it. She did it, bro. She changed that boy's sex. Had the surgery and everything. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Now, here's the thing, though, that kills me. I personally believe she did out of spite. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't think there's anything yeah. in between that. I think it was just straight spite. That's a woman. Like, that's, that, yeah. A woman's of course corn, she did out say. of spite. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> it's horrible, right? It's fucking atrocious. But, hey, she did out of spite, and she said that's what she identifies as the boy, right? That's what that's what they want to do. That's what he wants. That's how he sees himself. I'm going to change it. And she did. But the thing to me that kills me is like, what doctor would be okay with that? I believe it was California. I may be wrong. If I am wrong, I will correct this in the comments. But yeah, like you, somebody, come on. <clears throat> somebody who hasn't even hit puberty yet. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Or don't know. Because like, you remember how like androgynous shit used to be, right? Right. Or like, like tomboys, girls that was real. Like you knew, knew she was going to be, a, excuse my terminology here. Mm -hmm. You knew she was going to be a dyke when she grew up. You knew you it. You say a lesbian. No, like there's a difference between a lesbian and a I know, I know. Okay. Dyke, you, know <laughs> yeah. you knew she was going to be a stud. There we go. A you stud. knew she was going to be a go. stud when she uh -huh. grew up. You knew it. Like she was definitely strapping up on somebody. Mm -hmm. And then she turned into this badass bitch after puberty. Facts. People grow, people change. You they know do. what I'm saying? And the mind, your mind isn't fully developed until what, 25? Like your brain yeah. isn't fully developed until 25? Your mind can yeah. continue to grow after that, but your brain doesn't fully develop until 25. That's right. Nobody. I'm going to say 18 just for shits and gigs because that's the legal, you know, you yeah. can't vote until you're 18. Until you're in America. 18, <clears throat> in America. In America. But you can't drink until you're 21. Mm -hmm. Let's not even go down that rabbit hole either. Regardless, regardless. Yes. Um, I feel like there sh you should not be able to make that type of change until at least 18. Mm -hmm. Here's my a thing. A permanent change, a permanent change. If right. you want to start hormone yeah. therapy, I say, you know, okay, you start puberty, you decide, hey, uh, I'm not liking what's going on here. Then yeah. that's up to you, little buddy. I said, <laughs> yeah, I said this before, like, I'm so against anything when it comes to children or altering their bodies or anything. She castrated the fucking boy. She had him castrated. You know what I'm saying? At nine years old, bro. Like, come on. At nine? Damn. Nine years old? This shit didn't even grow all the way. It didn't. The little balls didn't even drop yet. <laughs> it didn't. So what are we doing? Nine years old, bro? And you castrate the little boy? That's like it's. And you it's, know how they do the surgery, right? I don't want to know. I'm sorry. If you those listening, you want to know, tell them. They, la, 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 la. <laughs> to get rid of the penis, what they do yeah. is they... They basically take your dick and put it inside of you. Yeah, they invert it. Yeah. To make your vagina. Yeah. This is a nine-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. It's a nine-year-old vagina. Is that vagina going to continue to grow with this person? Mm. Does that hole get deeper as the older they get? Because mm. if not, you're in for some pain again because you're going to have to get this surgery readjusted when you get older. Mm. Right? 
Mm. Wrong? I don't know the science behind the shit. Really don't. But I, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Is like, why would you do that to somebody who's nine years old? Like, mm. I remember my dick at nine. It was impressive, Pause, bro. What the fuck? It was impressive. <laughs> but at the same bro. time, it's bro. like, that's a child, bro. And you're doing yeah. this to them. Like, that's... Fucking disturbing. It's fucking disturbing. 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 And you did it out of spite, you petty bitch. I know she did. It had to be. It had to be. There's no other reason. Why would, why would you want to do that to your child? You know that it's boy sick. was a daddy's pride and joy. Yeah. Po- possibly. Possibly. But you know what? Hey, man. This is this is where we're going. This is where we're this is where we're at right now. Um, it's fucking. It's I don't know, man. I don't know. It's weird. It's oh, beyond man. weird at this point. But yeah, I I I would like to see the um the oh, closed God. captioned on this episode because looking at this shit, like I bet you reading this is so much worse than hearing it, <laughs> bro. I can only imagine. I can only imagine what people Thank God we ain't big saying. yet, right? I mean, hey, even even if they're probably like, uh, no, it, it, it's canceled. YouTube yeah, was taking us down. These we're guys. Gonna, yeah, we're all dead. But hey, man, it's just we're, we're, we are speaking facts, bro. We are speaking and facts. And say it how you feel, man. We gave it a disclaimer it in the beginning. And it again, is. this is not to say anything, you know, about you and how you identify yourself and your preferences. Do you? Yeah. I'm, I'm completely respectful about that. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, man, whatever you want to call yourself is what you want to call yourself. Right. But. Nah. It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery yeah. slope. What happens if that kid, uh, what happens if that kid, well, let's say you have a kid, they grow up, right? You put their gender as liquid or some stupid, whatever. I almost say that nigga shit. said liquid. That's what it says, bro. I'm, I'm that I, I'll find it. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. It says, it says fluid, liquid, my brother. Fluid. It's liquid, bro. It says it says fluid. 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 It's not say tomato. Liquid. Tomato. Tomato. But uh, they put this gender as gas, <laughs> bro. Solid. My gender identity is solid. Oh God. Listen, what happens? That child grows up, and now they want to sue. They have every right to. It's like. I, I don't know, man. It's so fucking weird. Or what it's happens? They grow up and they say, "Yo, you should have put slope. it." I know, man. I I can't. We we're gonna we'll be here all day beating this fucking horse. Exactly. I think this motherfucker is dead. Yeah, definitely dead. I heard a, a name. Thing I like somewhere. necrophilia. <laughs> <laughs> About to fuck the shit out this dead horse. That's what I'm gonna do? Yeah. Uh, listen, I'll let you put I'll me on the take, flag. I'll uh. let you take that one. Oh, you got oh, it. Oh my god, this shit is so. It. That's all you, bro. I'm good. I'm anyway, good. I'm I'm good on it too. Yeah, man. Listen, um, hey, as we stated, this episode was gonna get a little little zesty. Is the word you spicy? The word no, you I no. This is episode did zesty. not get zesty. This episode did not get zesty. It get spicy is the appropriate oh, term see, for this I fucked one. Up, I fucked up my zesty yeah. and spicy, bro. You gotta help me out. You're spicy. fucking up your seasonings. You're fucking up your seasonings. <laughs> That's right. This one got could... spicy. It did not get zesty at any point, guys. We don't do that zesty shit over here. All right. Okay. Now, and if you do, it's okay. It's if okay. you do, it's cool. Hey, hey, hey. No judgment. It's okay. We if don't you do, do that zesty time. shit. <laughs> it's it's okay if you do get zesty. This it's fine. We're not judging or anything. We're just saying. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I, this horse, it's screaming, bro. We gotta we gotta fuck We're it. Done. Well okay. Done. Anywho, uh, yes. Yeah. So, so now. listen, listen. Um, <sighs> thank you guys for tuning in, man. We really appreciate it. Um, as we promised, we got the visuals back. Uh, please, 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 like, subscribe, tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we out here. We're gonna definitely keep the visuals from here on out. And then next thing is we're gonna be in a room and start getting some other interesting people in these rooms with us. Facts. Do kind of, these conversations, man. Definitely. Um, but as always, we appreciate you guys. Year three, baby, we still rock and we still here, and we're gonna be a little more consistent this year. Now that we're a little more settled in, you know what I'm saying? Three is a good year number. Three, it's a good number. It's a favorite lucky number. number. Yeah, it's my it's favorite a lucky number. number. Mm. Yes. But we appreciate y'all coming back again. I'm Mo. I'm Say. And this will say how you feel. Hey, we will catch you next week. Yeah, for sure. For sure this time. Seriously. Hit the hit the subscribe button, man. Like the video. Drop some comments. Y'all want to hear us talk about some shit? Let us know. 
Turn on them notifications. You know what I'm saying? That way you can know exactly when we get. See, we said it three times. You see, we said it three fucking times. That's the third time. We just come on, baby. Turn the bitches on. Put them in a coffin. Remember that nigga? (laughs) Yeah, I remember that shit. (laughs) All right. Oh, but I got your ass. I got your (laughs) ass now. I'm done. All right. right, We'll see you guys next week, man. Laters. Oh my god.